Hey, everybody, welcome back to my off, huh? Okay, I'll take this headphones off. I don't need it. Hey, everybody, welcome back to my floaty review. I'm not talking about episode 5 floaty. This show is like amazing. I just wimps in it. And yeah, so we see that we, we picked up where we left off with we see Loki, me, and the other three. Well, four to the data. data. <laughs> Loki, then the, the, we see the TVA. Camera pants upside down and towards the other side of the door and then towards where Loki is. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty cool. And we see that if you like to look closely, you see that the stock tower has the words Q E N G and some. Uh, like, huh. I thought I said Avengers, but the Q trying to throws me off. It said Q and O. Oh, I don't know which one it is. I feel like it's a Q. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then we learned that the place is called the void, so that's, that's it kind of reminds me of if you just watch the uh, in DC Comics thing, the uh, Crisis of the Earth, where they went to the bashing point. That it kind of reminds me of that in some way. I mean, I did that, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we see that this uh, creature is called Alias, yeah, that it wants to eat everyone, everything in its path. <laughs> Back in the TVA, we see that Sylvie and is asking Vona, the white presence, about Loki and what the TVA is deal with. And she's basically asking, why do we need Loki particularly for the, to learn what the TVA is really up to and all these things? And that makes it, she makes it really to a point I didn't even realize that. I didn't really. I'm not. This show is like doing all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, but it, this show is like basically. Helping and guiding us is actually really true. Cool. I really love how Marvel really, the Marvel, the MCU shows really do this. They were born us as they're doing all this is actually complicated and it's, she wants the same thing as Sylvie and I feel like she makes we're born us turn the truth and she does make sense. However, yeah, yeah it's complicated because it's like all these things like and what particularly the Whatever they, she wants to understand that Ravonna wants to know more about the TVA, but I feel like she's not really, uh, she should just really be a team player with Sylvie and not cause any more stalling or delays or anything like that. Ravonna wants to understand how Sylvie, how her effective um, Ravonna working at the TVA for so long, it probably isn't really easy for her to. Um, communicate really well with Sylvie, especially that she doesn't really trust Sylvie that much in, in a way. <laughs> Just, but that she wanted to improve in Ravonna and Sylvie they talk to Miss Minutes <laughs> who wants to really prove files about the, um, the end of time and all these things and we don't know that it's called the void and this thing called the uh, dogma states that are still being ran. I'm not too I'm not one hundred percent sure what that really means. I feel like that my I'm just guessing here, just that it feels that the timeline isn't already isn't completely out of blue yet. I, maybe it has to do with maybe that has to do with the Nexus events that's going on or something along the lines of that. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I do feel like we will then answer soon in the next episode. Back to Floaty, we see that there are other Floaties who want a temp pad, but just that's the, like, they discuss that. They don't really want it, they just, they're just playing around. The thing they want a temp pad, because that's the only way to gain out the uh, void. Even though some of them don't really want to leave the void for some unknown reason. Unless some of them don't really want to leave the void, because they feel like there's no point going back. Because they feel like they are either go back to where they have to the void or I don't know, they feel like there's no purpose on escaping. Which we learn more about later on. And then we learned that the kid he killed the door like <laughs> and then we see it fans to the ground and we see that like, door's hammer and we see that door is that a version of door as a frog <laughs> trying to like, grab the hammer. <laughs> so if the frog wants to grab the hammer then and doesn't move then the the frog doesn't feel worthy then and the frog just have to well, no, um, 
draw back to run around where Dor was talking to Valkyrie and Bruce about the fact that Loki turned him into a fraud one time. <laughs> so maybe if, if Loki turned that door into a fraud, then when maybe that could be a reason why the hammer won't work. I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah. Either way, I feel like to him the fraud not being Loki is a bear. Theory, maybe? Okay, so, so we know one of the other Lotis we see that um, they're hide out. So they're trying to hide out and I think then we learned that they want to find a way to like Loki wants to kill the cloud monster. <laughs> but one is asking Miss Minute to look at some files on the uh, start from T V A that the very beginning but so we Asking to see powers about the boy, like beyond the boy at the end of time, so they want to know. This man decides to figure out. This man is just searching for the. Um, what so we start asking. And that's what we learned that there's no destination in some way. It feels that way, but Miss Minutes has mentioned that there's a void spacecraft. So that's actually very interesting. I wonder. How virtual I wanna see how it looks I wanna see how it looks like because so many classified files. Like files that maybe we won't know may not have clearance. However I believe that Sylvie so believes that she does because she's like you know, anyone to have access to the files who works in TBA in, in that range. So that's something that Sylvie so believes. But she so Sylvie so believes that Ronald well, can um Help the search for the country for the TVA cards shows up and so we hired them. They talked about how I did if so we turns us up in and she so Bona asked her is there any memories that's good and so we says that she has only one. That's really sad to think about, you know. Something I, I reviewed uh, my last review I I said that you know that Sylvie was on the run for so long, you know what I mean? And I didn't realize that, you know, Loki and, and Sylvie they're not like us. They don't age the same. They've been they're like like probably thousands thousands of years old, so Sylvie has been traveling so many participants for like centuries if you really think about it. So so the fact that Sylvie only has one good memory it's something, you know. I don't know why but just the way Sylvia and Vona talk to each other feels, feels a little off, but not, not just the way that it feels that like they were against each other again and and, well, and sometimes I don't know if they were playing and out for the guards or anything like that. It feels a little off. I didn't really understand that part really well the way they communicated. But it's so uh, Sylvie self prunes herself, so she. Uh, Right. It's where Loki's at now. So one of the Loki's classic Loki tells it um, the fact that he, his life went well until Daniel's attacked the ship but then he had created uh, another version of Loki where Daniel killed the, that Loki but then in, yeah, in reality he actually didn't because he was hiding and with his magic and the magic was too powerful with the point where Daniel was believed that, that Loki was dead, so I wonder how that animal looked like. Just um, that's how that Loki looked like. Just I mentioned how that Thanos world looked like. <laughs> how, how that scene world turned out. And he didn't use and classic Loki said he didn't use uh, the dagger like daughter that all Loki used. That's something. So that's something to really think about. <laughs> and then they call themselves outcast. So all Lottery tells the other Lottery about Sylvie and she wants to um, take the TVA down and, and then Lottery opens up the hatch to escape to leave and there's like even more Lottery so like, how many Lotteries are there? Yeah. And Sylvie wakes, uh, wakes up in this nest inside uh, like the bus and then the cloud like, like comes towards her and she tries to use her powers to like, escape and then and she touches the cloud and uh, something happens to it where it feels like she'd see far away in some way or she'd see something, who knows 
you can see beyond the, um, the cloud monster or you shouldn't see far away it's one of those two with her shining power so I feel like that her power saved her and helped, helped her escape so a good friend landing between I mean Mobius did help Sylvia escape by driving a, a pizza draw present luckily he, he has a badge that says 2016 so yeah that's actually interesting so anyways we see that they all stood they're all mad I mad at the other Lottie's for like like not using the like basically the yeah, the boundary is like the territory is what the what President Loki is claiming but the other three Lottie's that like, like, argue with them and all that stuff by themselves as well. The alligator Lottie bites um, Lottie's hand off. <laughs> President Lottie's hand off. And then the other Lottie's that he's he's with have stopped biting with each other and that's really odd and weird but um, but okay, <laughs> and then the other Lottie, the, the other Lottie's escape except for the dude with like the, the, um, the hammer dude who has like the hammer he stayed apparently. <laughs> so yeah, just the classic Lottie, the kid Loki and the alligator escape with like all Lottie. <laughs> classic Loki is upset with the other Lottie's of how they are odd, but then Lottie, all Lottie wants to talk, what he wants to he wants to really kill the um, Elias, so the kid is in and also men so they try to figure out a plan and that um, something that was uh, confusing to me is that the kid Loki had a remote control thing that uh, he was telling us that a remote control car or something so, but he had, I don't know what, I don't know why, what that was for but basically there was like, a really giant ship with a bunch of people and Loki wanted to, Loki's plan was that like, they're behind the, the other side to figure out um, how to, to do it. Like, basically, Loki did that the ship could be a really great distraction since the ship is massive but clouded by life just swoops in and just destroys everything easily and snap. <laughs> Which really freaks Loki out, just he wants to. Uh, now he's screwed <laughs> so easily. The Alive has done his job. <laughs> So then we see it from a distance. Lottie sees Sylvie from a distance, and, and then Mobius sees Lottie with them. So um, Lottie is relieved to see Mobius live, and they hurt. So that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. And Sylvie tells um, all Lottie that her plan is to enchant the god dog, which is alive. And then we, and then she learns that Lottie wanted to kill him. <laughs> and then that's the. Little, we know now that um, that Houston, I was kind of on board with Lottie turning alive, but now that Shash with um, really points out that that's a really bad move. It made sense not to. You know what I mean, even if there's like no Shash in the vault, that turning alive wouldn't really do much if it was ever thrown. They did open possible to do, just I did this mess. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then we see that. Vona goes in this room and sees B15 and talks about how that she the B15 goes out that Vona wants to know who's behind the TV as well. So so basically everyone, every main character we seen in the that wants to see um wants to learn more about the TVA to the point where they want to take them down, figure out where they're from as well. Vona asked Miss Minutes to find the files for the party of the TVA and put the very big chain so she's on that end so yeah. Miss Minutes is really helpful in this episode I really love that that she's actually um, doing a lot of things for, um, to help solve the TVA I thought you know Miss Minutes would be like a, a devious energy that in this episode like, like um, backstab and portray a woman but no oh, Probably not, so it's Loki and Sylvie to talk about like what happened back there with the Netflix event and, and then yeah and then Loki has this platter on him which is cold and he shows the platter he extends it pretty much so it's actually very nice. <laughs> I really love that um that Loki is caring for Sylvie. So we see that Sylvie's mission is the 
the powers that Alive has. And then Classic Lottery and Kid Lottery will stay behind because their objective was to just bring Lottery and Sylvie towards the storm, right? Towards Alive. And, and then we see that Kid Lottery gives Lottery his dagger, so his long sword, his long gold dagger, so that's actually, actually pretty cool. And then before Mobius leaves, he hurts Loki, which is um, Loki and Sylvie, so they talked about the fact that they didn't really have any friends, and then when Loki heard him and said, did you friend us? Like, so touching, I know. <laughs> and then Loki, and then Mobius says that he's his favorite like, house too. <laughs> And then Lottie tries to tell us a uh, distraction from for life so so we can enchant um the monster so then apparently it doesn't work and then but then literally classic Lottie steps in and helps and all these things and this magic is really powerful and it shows that the Lotties are capable of anything and he was classic Lottie that killed off with us alive attack them, you know what I mean? So, and about um, Loki and, and Sylvia were able to enchant him, so enchant alive, so it worked and we did see them. The other side, so it was just really amazing. <laughs> so they got through the portal and yeah, this episode was really amazing. I really love so much about this episode and it's way too seen so many Lotties <laughs> seen throughout the <laughs> Mobius seeing with we and Loki and like Loki really, it feels like Loki is funny, has an awesome friend and I think I really love that. This show is amazing, I can't believe it's so we're almost ending. And I so let me know what I said about Loki, do you feel like um, this show is doing really all your thoughts, all your, all your thoughts on the show? I mean, yeah, we, we didn't expect Loki to be this amazing and who knows what the TVA is after and who knows who and what um, behind uh, that portal but with behind the portals it made the time keepers for some reason because something more beyond ancestor going on. And I can't wait to figure out what the TVA is really up to and why it exists. Yeah, and hopefully we'll wanna to get the answers she needs to, especially and also Sylvie. Especially just considering that she's been on the run for like so long. It's nice to, it's been nice to for her to have answers finally. Hopefully, if they will go back, and hopefully, I'll be able to um, go back to hopefully have the answers he needs and stop the TV. Hopefully, he can stop the TVA once more. Alright, let me know what I said about Lottie. The other reviews are here, so please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.